time, however, there really is hope that we'll get some kind of agreement amongst the governments to do something. Most governments have pledged to cut emissions, um, and there could be even more stronger pledges coming through in Paris. So I feel fairly optimistic that something will be set up. Of course, you've probably read the newspapers that it won't be enough. I mean, the chances of us keeping the warming to below 2 degrees centigrade relative to pre-industrial levels is pretty slim. So it's optimistic, but we have to be prepared for some difficult times ahead. One of the most important things about this conference is that it will set a, a precedent for governments to talk to each other about how to make cuts. It will be a platform for them to discuss in the future about how to make cuts. And we hope that in five years' time, when we have the next conference, that the chain of reductions will have been ratcheted down, ratcheted down, ratcheted down. So be optimistic, but don't expect too much from it, although it's a great start. Well, I think that what we need to do, basically, is to feel that the Earth is our wider body. You know, we tend to think of the Earth as just being a lot of resources external to us that we can use for our economy. I know we don't in top mess, but most people do. Now, I think if all of the delegates of Paris and all the citizens in the world could feel that this Earth is actually, literally, our mother. I mean, after all, every single atom that we makes up our bodies has come from the Earth through a process of billions of years of evolution. So you could say it's a bit flaky to say that the Earth is our mother, but actually it's scientifically accurate to say that. This huge, round, sentient creature, a living being the size of a planet, and that we live inside it, like bacteria live inside our own guts, then perhaps everyone would have the really deep motivation and the deep connection from which or with which to implement changes. So in order to really bring about change, I think we need a mixture, a combination of really good science, really good intellect, but also really good feeling, really good sensing of the earth, and really good intuitive connection with the earth. And that's what our culture is really bad at. We focus so much on the intellect, which important as it is, tends to denigrate the feeling and sensing that we need to develop so that we can really feel the planet is alive. And I know that in Top Ness, in particular at Schumacher College, we try to cultivate this more holistic approach to the Earth. Share this understanding with other people. Tell them that their wider body is the Earth, that their body is the Earth, that their mother is the Earth. And of course, consume less. It's pretty obvious. When you walk past the electronic shop and you see that shiny new iPhone, don't buy it. Unless you really have to, ask yourself, is it a vital need to have this shiny new object? Let's cultivate love of the earth, and let's cultivate peace with each other and with the earth. Thank you, everybody.